Hi there, I'm Mike Gale. I'm the author of uh, A Song of Me and You. Um, it's coming out in July and it's about, it's about a woman called, a middle-aged woman called Helen and she's having the worst day of her life. Uh, her husband, having left her uh, a couple of months earlier, is decided to take the kids, uh, her two kids, to uh, on holiday with um, his new lover. And so she's completely and utterly distraught. Um, they've just gone. Her house is empty when there's a knock at the door and she opens it to see uh, someone that she hasn't seen in the best part of 25 years. It's her ex-boyfriend. Um, he's called Ben and he is, uh, in the intervening time, has become a world famous rock star. And that really is the, just the beginning of the book. I'm here at Waterstones Piccadilly and I'm in the romantic uh, fiction section and I've just found three books that I really, really want to share by uh, fellow authors. Uh, the first of which is Otherhood by William Sutcliffe. It was originally published um, it was originally published under a different title, uh, Whatever Makes You Happy, and um, they turned it into a film um, called Otherhood that you can see on Netflix. I, I read this book when it came out. It's very, very funny, very, very truthful uh, about lots of things. Um, William Sutcliffe is an absolutely brilliant writer, and uh, you, you, this is definitely something you'd uh, you get a lot of enjoyment out of. It's about Matt, uh, Daniel, and Paul, uh, three childhood friends, um, who have sort of disconnected with their with their with their mothers, and it's about their mothers and how they decide one day to kind of reconnect with their sons, and so they arrive and announce to visit their various sons and it's about what happens after that. It's absolutely brilliant. My next choice is uh, Maybe Next Time by uh, Jessica Major. Um, Jessica's a really good friend and um, I read this book when in proof um, a little while before it came out and absolutely loved it. It's really, uh, really lovely and moving. It's uh, it's about, uh, well, it's a, it's sort of a Groundhog Day type story. Um, about a, a book publicist actually, uh, who um, she she's you know very very busy. She's got kids. Um, her life you know is just busy all the time. Um, but her day ends uh, rather tragically with the loss of her husband. Um, but then the very next day she wakes up and it's the same day again. And it's it's a it's a really interesting thoughtful look at love and what it means and trying to kind of, I suppose, seize the best out of life. And my third choice, um, how could I not choose uh, The Flat Shirt by uh, Beth O'Neary. I know lots of people uh, love this and um, Beth is such a, a, a great writer. It, this is just a really wonderful story, uh, very London. Um, it's about, um, it's about, I'm trying to remember what the names are, it's about Leon and, uh, and Tiffy and they end up um, sharing a flat, but in a very odd way, because uh, he has the flat during the night, uh, she has the flat, no, she has the flat, he has the flat during the day, she has the flat during the night, and um, never do they pass across until, of course, they do, and they, um, they fall in love, and it's, it's just a great, really, really uh, romantic story with characters that you kind of do really for. So, uh, Flat Share by Beth O'Neill.